Hello, welcome to Making Photos. I'm Ian M. Butterfield, and this is the 11th video in my Learn Affinity photo series. This time we are looking at the colour replacement brush. I've got an image here of a model holding a red umbrella. We want to change the colour of the umbrella. So we're going to use the colour replacement tool. We'll find that on the menu at the side under the paintbrush tool. If I press and hold that, it will reveal additional tools underneath it. Colour replacement brush is one of them. I can select that. On the context menu, we've got a number of things running along here. On the left hand side, we've got the standard things to do with brushes. Uh, with the opacity flow hardness. In the middle, we've got more advanced things to do with brushes, which I will do a separate video on at some point. And then here on the right hand side, we've got three functions to do with color replacement brush tolerance, sample continuously, and contiguous. First of all, I'm going to choose the color I want to uh, work with. So I'm going to go with this. Uh, purple colour here, that's my colour. Now let's look at the brush. Uh, I want a reasonable brush size. We can see the size of it on, on there. I'm just going to increase the size slightly uh, using the, uh, uh, the square bracket keys. The opacity, I want that to be 100% because we want to change all of the colour on it. The flow needs to be 100%. Now hardness, and this is one where it tends to work better if the hardness is higher. I don't like going to uh, completely to 100%, so I tend to come back to about 80% on there. So that's set my brush up, and now in theory, I could just paint away, and you can see we get color replacement, but it's not perfect. You'll see I've managed to replace some of the color on her arm. Control Z out of that. We can improve uh, the accuracy of this. First of all, we've got the tolerance. That's how similar the colors are. So let's bring that down slightly to say 25. And then if I do this, you can see it's now, it's changed what it's picking up on the arm. It's still not brilliant on there but it's not quite going over as it was before. Now, do I want to change the, uh, the tolerance down a bit more? Yeah, I'll take it down to about 20%. So control Z out of that, and let's try again. We can still see a little bit of purple going through there, but we've got other settings which will help us with that. Now, the other thing you can see, as I stop and start with this, I'm getting those areas between the different parts. This is to do with sampling. At the moment, we have not got sample continuously selected. Let me control Z out of what we've done so far. If I select sample continuously, as I press the mouse button down, it will sample the colour. As I move it, it then samples again and again and again. So it continuously checks the colour sample that it's working on. So as I move around, I pick up different colours. Let me control Z out of that. And if I take it off, you can then see the difference now. I'm going to just press and hold and then go over the whole umbrella and you'll see what happens. I'm, select, I'm starting here, I start working and I haven't released it. And you can see areas it just will not do. I can go over that section as much as I like, it just does not resample that color uh, at all. So that is why you would want sample continuously so that you can select those. Now I might be able to come over and then go over it again, but it starts to get tricky in the middle here. Um, you can see it's missing little bits around the edges of the spokes uh, on that. So control Z out of all of that. If I select sample continuously and do exactly the same again, we can see we get the whole area and this time it's a lot more accurate. So if I go in, I haven't got the problem of, um, of those colors 
uh, in that area. So we've got all those bits covered with it, but it has to, it is still spilling into other areas. So let me control zero to fill the screen with that. I'm just going to control Z to undo that. And let's talk about the continuous option. With continuous selected, you'll see it tends to look into areas and keep within areas. Now, I'm not actually pressing the mouse button at the moment, but it gives this preview. And can you see how it sticks up against the edge with it? So that should help us on this area here where we were getting that spilling onto the arm. So with both of those selected, I, I can now start painting in on this as it fills in those areas. You can see some of these just sort of go as we come along. We've got not got the spilling onto the arm. Some of them it's struggling to get, and I'm going to have to zoom in to get those. But we're not doing too bad on this. And this is all one mouse click, so it's resampling as we go. Now, obviously, it's missed bits, so I'm just going to control a mouse to move in, take my brush size down, and I should now be able to just finish off these extra little pieces that got missed on the first attempt. So it's a strange one that sometimes you have to just move it around so it actually decides it's going to paint to the actual bits that you want it to paint. And let's try a little bit round here, get those, a little bit on that. Now this is where we start to have some problems with it because we've got sort of gentle areas and I've just made a mistake. I've gone over onto the arm. How do I undo that? Well, to be honest, I can't uh, because the only thing I can do is control Z um, and try again. So maybe take the brush down. Let's do that. And it's done an okay job, but there's still bits it's missed. Uh, with it and some of those are getting harder and harder to to actually persuade it to paint and you see little bits of red around those edges still there's still bits of them but I guess at this sort of size um, it's not doing um, it's not doing a bad job so that's basically the ins and outs of the color replacement brush it's done an okay job, but what are the problems? It, it can miss pixels. If you make a mistake, the only option you have got is Control Z and Undo um, to do it. And if it was a mistake you made and didn't spot it till later, you're, you're kind of stuffed on there. So for simple color changes, it's a useful tool. For anything a bit more complex, um, for example, we've got a red cast here on the arm, which I've not been able to change the color. And we've got, if I can tr come in, we've got a spillage here onto the arm of color, which I can't now correct. So it's, it's not an ideal tool for everything. And we can't really get this faded effect on the, uh, um, the stem of the umbrella. So in the next video, which when it's available will be on the screen here, I'll show you how to do all this a different way, non-destructively. For the other Affinity tutorials, you'll find them on here. See you in the next video, and until then, thanks for watching and keep making great photos. Bye for now.